The final trailer for the upcoming third season of Stranger Things drops plenty of hints about the characters' journeys. We also get some big clues about the villains of the season, as well as a few obligatory 80s easter eggs. Let's take a look at the small details you may have missed. The third season of Stranger Things will be the first that doesn't take place during Halloween. Netflix revealed that Season 3 would be dropping on Independence Day 2019 with a special date announcement, and the 4th of July holiday will also be the setting of the show this year. The final Season 3 trailer opens with a wide shot of a 4th of July fun fair sponsored by Mayor Klein. A new character for Season 3, Larry Klein is portrayed by Carrie Elways, star of 80s classic The Princess Bride. But in the meantime, rest well and dream of large women. Promotional materials for the show describe Klein as handsome, slick and sleazy, your classic 80s politician. It looks like the mayor will be a secondary villain of sorts, but could his arc tie into a previously unexplored plot? We're going back to Hawkins in the summer of 1985, at the height of the Cold War. Theory crafters are predicting that the Duffers will return to the Russian spy subplot planted by journalist turned private investigator Murray Bowman in season two. Russian spies! I'm sorry, Murray, are the Russian spies in cahoots with the aliens, or how do they fit in here? Doesn't make sense. I closed the gate. With that line, Eleven is obviously referring to the moment she used her psychokinetic powers to seal the portal to the Upside Down at the end of Season 2, seemingly saving Hawkins from the monstrous creatures that dwell on the other side. It didn't take a genius to figure out that the Upside Down would feature in the coming third season, however, and the final trailer confirms that this will indeed be the case. We see Eleven in a sense-depriving blindfold early on in the trailer, surrounded by her concerned friends. Her trademark nosebleed tells us that she's using her special abilities, and the following shot shows that she's in the hellscape that is the Upside Down, standing in front of a large steelworks warehouse. This warehouse appears to be the hideout of the evil that will be unleashed this coming season. We see a swarm of rats converging on the place, and a dark smoke-like entity whirling its way through the empty corridors. But is this entity a new foe, or one the gang has faced before? Inside the Brimborn warehouse is a brief but unmistakable shot of the Mind Flayer, the creature that took control of Will Byers in Season 2. The young heroes of Hawkins thought they locked the Mind Flayer in the Upside Down, but as Byers points out, they don't know that for sure. What if we locked him out here with us? Byers is clearly still connected to the Mind Flayer in some way, and he drops a huge clue about the malevolent entity's intentions for Season 3 in the last trailer, saying that it'll be looking for a new host. The face of Billy Hargrove appears on screen as Byers utters the words, heavily implying that the Season 2 bully will become an even bigger threat to the kids at this time out. There's an ominous voiceover in the trailer that has everybody scratching their heads. It begins right at the start of the trailer, playing over some lingering shots of our tween heroes. You let us in. The same voice can be heard later in the trailer. We are going to end you. We are going to end your friends. The owner of the voice is never identified, and there are a lot of theories, but listen closely, and the voice sounds an awful lot like Jake Busey, a new addition to the Stranger Things cast. He's playing a character called Bruce, a reporter from the Hawkins Post who has, quote, questionable morals and a sick sense of humor. Is he going to be an important villain? Well, put it this way, it's probably no coincidence that Busey's character shares a name with the shark from Steven Spielberg's Jaws. Bruce, God, his name is my lawyer's name. I named the shark after my lawyer. He's still my lawyer, by the way. We got our first good look at Season 3 newbie Maya Hawk in the Starcourt Mall teaser that Netflix dropped in July 2018. Hawk plays a character named Robin, a co-worker of Steve Harrington at the sparkly new mall Scoops Ahoy ice cream parlor. The first Season 3 trailer showcased Robin in this capacity, but now we know for sure that she's going to be doing way more than just scooping ice cream. There's a shot of her peering through a glass door at something that's probably not from this dimension. Another bewildering moment in the trailer is when Steve and Dustin unearth a canister filled with something peculiar, and judging by what Harrington is wearing at the time, he's in the middle of a shift at Scoops Ahoy. It's one of the standout shots from the final trailer, and it seems to indicate that something is going on in the bowels of the Starcourt Mall. The next two shots feature people in hazmat suits gathered around what appears to be some kind of particle collider. The machine fires up and shoots a white beam of energy, which could well be the cause of the blackout at the end of the trailer. But who is experimenting under the mall? It's alive! The Hawkins National Laboratory was shut down after it was linked to the death of Season 1 fan favorite Barbara Holland, though there are bound to be plenty of other interested parties when it comes to unlocking the secrets of the Upside Down. 
There's a lot of quick editing in the final Season 3 trailer, but if you watch it back a couple of times, you'll notice that a few different teams seem to have formed by the end. Eleven, Mike and Max cower together behind a counter, while Will, Jonathan, Nancy and Lucas take cover behind a battered car. Steve, Dustin, Robin and Erica appear to escape them all. Lastly, there are the adults. Hopper, Joyce, and Murray. Joyce Byers had a thing with Sean Astin's Bob Newby in Season 2, but the Radio Shack manager was killed helping the gang escape. Bob wasn't unpopular, but most Stranger Things fans have been shipping a Joyce Hopper relationship since the early days of the show. A blink and you'll miss it moment in the final trailer all but confirms that they'll make the leap in season 3. The shot is a close up of two unidentified people holding hands. Pause it and you'll notice that the shirts they're wearing match the ones worn by Joyce and Hopper earlier in the trailer. David Harbour is aware of how much people want this, and he gets it. And the fans, they call it like Jopper or something. They all ship this relationship of like Hopper and Joyce, and I do too, because I feel like they're two really lonely lost. People that Stranger Things just wouldn't be Stranger Things without all the 80s Easter eggs, and there are going to be plenty of those in the upcoming third season. Ross Duffer kept his cards closed when IndieWire asked him which films he and his brother would be referencing this time out, but the final season 3 trailer contains a few subtle clues. Lucas, for example, wears an outfit reminiscent of the Karate Kid. One of the most blatant nods to an iconic movie comes when Max, Eleven, and Mike take cover behind a counter in the mall. The shot is super similar to the kitchen scene from Jurassic Park, which is, of course, an early 90s movie. But seeing as it's directed by Steven Spielberg, it's fair game. The Duffer brothers have made no secret of the fact that they're heavily into Spielberg, naming E.T. the extraterrestrial, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and Jaws as big influencers. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.